another asteroid shock. The NASA warning of the Buckingham Palace sized rock skiing by Earth now. Today and tomorrow, an asteroid roughly as wide as Buckingham Palace is tall, will come nail bitingly close to planet Earth in the next 24 hours, according to NASA. Gerard Conga of Express UK reports. And there's other videos I'm going to be coming up with uh, right after this one having to do with how they intend to cannonball an asteroid that's becoming coming will be coming close to us. I guess it's because they can't wait until they go out towards uh, their um, Didymus double asteroid uh, mission that they're having in two years. Maybe that's taking too long for them. I don't know. But anyway, this asteroid is asteroid 219 SP3. It's classified as potentially hazardous by NASA. The space rock is an estimated 20 meters in width, according to astronomy simulations and animations. 20 meters is about 60 feet across, whereas Buckingham Palace is 24 meters high. Uh, the, uh, that's about uh, 70, 80 meet, uh, feet high. The asteroid is set to skim past the planet Thursday at a distance of 0 0.97 lunar units. The lunar distance between the Earth and uh, the Moon is one lunar unit. So uh, this in turn means that the space rock will pass within 231,690 miles of our planet. Despite the close proximity, NASA does not believe the asteroid will hit our planet. In the event of it, that it did, the relatively small size of this means that it would not it would only have local damage, although it could still be very destructive depending on the impact zone, of course. And uh, I hope it doesn't have the uh, the Yarovsky effect. That's when it the sun heats the, especially the small asteroids. When the sun heats their surface, it causes a temperature differential. It causes them to tumble on their axis. And uh, in that case, if that happens, they go off their trajectory and their path. That's what happened July 25th, when a small asteroid that was supposed to pass by our moon and into the uh, depths of space didn't do that, and instead careened into the Caribbean Sea. So uh, this one, last month the asteroid, uh, last month asteroid researchers and scientific spacecraft engineers from U.S. and Europe and around the world got together in Rome to discuss the latest progress in their common goal. It will be an ambitious double spacecraft mission to deflect an asteroid to space to prove the technique as a viable method of planetary defense against asteroid or comet impacts. Queen guitarist and now astrophysicist Brian May explained how the mission would be conducted using the resources of NASA, the European Space Agency, and other asteroid specialists. He said, "Hera is going to show us no one has ever what no one has ever seen before. This ESA mission, he says, will be humanity's first ever." spacecraft to visit a double asteroid Didymus. The asteroid is typical of the thousands that pose an impact risk to our planet. Imagine, he says, a mountain in the sky with another rock about the size of the Great Pyramid swinging around it. That's its mini moon. That is the Didymus, meaning the double star asteroid, a twin asteroid, a binary asteroid, that is. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.